Hello and welcome to Talking Daily Sports, episode number three. I'm your host, Luke Harden, as we sit here today on a beautiful Thursday afternoon, at least beautiful where I am from, where I am right now. Um, yeah, I mean, what a, it's, it's been about three days, not much happening in college football, obviously, but baseball wise, we got some stuff to catch up on. And I think we're going to start with the big topic of the day. And that was the Kevin Kiermeyer incident with the Blue Jays. Um, if you didn't see it, um, or maybe you did see it, but Kevin Kiermeyer stole the Blue Jays catcher. I'm not sure who was catching that game. Might have been Danny Jansen. I'm not really sure. Um, but Kevin Kiermeyer, um, I guess the catcher's, um, you know, cheat, cheat card or whatever you want to call it, their, their pitching um, card you know, whatever they pitch they call, um, fell out of his back pocket and Kevin Kiermeyer picked it up and walked away with it. So um, there was definitely some controversy there talking about, you know, should it, he, she, should he have done that? And, you know, they were, everybody was on social media talking about the Blue Jays would never do this, yada, yada, yada. But I mean, at the end of the day, do I it, it's it, yes it was the it was not the right thing to do um that's pretty obvious um but at the same time you know it's it's you know I, the way i see it um finders keepers me personally at least if you find it i mean unless he like you just took it and the other person saw but that's just the way I see it. But then the controversy happened on Wednesday when Kevin Kiermeyer was hit in the eighth inning by Ryan Barucki, I believe. Yeah, Ryan Barucki um, hit Kevin Kiermeyer with a the first pitch of the eighth inning. And to no surprise, Kevin Kiermeyer wasn't too happy about it. But at the same time, he's got to expect it. I mean, I, it's never a pleasant thing to get hit with a 90-plus mile-an-hour fastball. Trust me, I've experienced it once before. It is not pleasant. It, it, it hurts. It really does. Um, but at the same time, he had to know it was coming. No, it was coming eventually. And it just happened to be that specific, you know, at bat, that pitch. And that's what happened. And obviously the, the, the umpires did not throw Baraki out of the game right away, which was kind of weird considering they obviously knew the situation, but didn't do anything. Um, but eventually after, you know, talking about it, um, getting together, they did eventually throw Baraki out of the game to no surprise. Um, the Blue Jays pitching coach lost his mind. It was, it was not a, pretty scene to say the least i mean it was really really ugly i mean ugly in forms of benches clearing um but all in all you know nothing too crazy around baseball right now but you know, it's, it, things are coming down to the wire. I mean, the, the, the St. Louis Cardinals have won 12 straight games and they have pretty much solidified themselves at, into the wild card spot. They are five games up now, considering like a week ago, Reds and the Padres were battling it out for that second spot. And, and the, here come the Cardinals, you know, the Cardinals just somehow find a way to get it done. I personally, the Cardinals irritate me because I'm a Braves fan. If if you can, if you have um, are on video and you can see that Braves flag and behind me, I'm a huge Braves fan. Also have another Braves podcast, Talking Braves. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, um, on Instagram and on Spotify, me and my um good friend who runs a Braves page, um, we are doing that as well, along with me doing this. So, but the the Cardinals they've won 12 straight games. They just swept the Brewers in a four game set. 
or I think it was maybe it was three. I'm not 100 percent sure, but they look like a dangerous team. But obviously, they're going to have to face whoever doesn't win the NL West, which currently right now would be the Dodgers, as it's been most of the season, as the Giants just don't seem to want to lose. But that the obviously there's still a week and a half left. A lot can happen, as I believe the they're only. I mean, the Dodgers are only a game and a half out right now, so they're still sitting there. They don't play each other the rest of the year. Um, the Giants play the Padres next week. They're playing them right now, actually, too. But we will see how that turns out. The White Sox clinched the division today, so congratulations to them. I think that was pretty, you know, expected. They had an 11 and a half game lead in the division, so no surprise there. I mean, as the wild a wild card continues to come down to the, the wire, I mean, the Yankees are currently in by a half game over the Blue Jays, but, you know, we, we've seen crazy things happen over the last two months in that wild card spot. I mean, the, the, the Seattle Mariners are only sitting two games out. They've won five straight. But the one thing is the A's have just played themselves. I mean, they haven't played themselves out of it. They're four games back, but they've not played their way into it. They just – they're a good team, but they are not what people expected, especially after last year when they I believe they beat the A's, um, but I think they lost the Rays, I want to say. I, I don't remember exactly. Um, but, I mean, obviously the Red Sox have a two-game lead in that that first wild card spot over the Yankees. So can the Yankees will be the Yankees and the Red Sox? That would be a storyline. That would be a huge storyline in Boston, but we'll see. Um, And obviously the Braves Brewers and Giants still sit there at the top. The giant, the Braves took three out of four from the Diamondbacks. They currently sit two and a half games up, um, depending on what the, the Phillies do today could remain at three. Their magic number is nine, I believe. So they still got a long way to go. That at least is long from decided as the Phillies and the Braves play next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with their three best pitchers going out against each other. So that will be a crazy atmosphere at Truist Park. But, I mean, all in all, we are coming down to the end of the season. We got about – 12 games left or majority of people have 10 to 12 games left. So it's definitely going to be a, you know, one of the crazier finishes to a season we've seen wild card wise, you know, even the Braves and the Phillies, you know, coming down to the wire, even though winner will probably have 85, 86 wins it, you know, crazier things have happened. You know, we saw the, the Nats win the, World Series a few years ago. So it's not crazy, but we'll see anything can happen in playoff baseball as we've seen before. But with that being said, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, a bit of a shorter episode um, as baseball was pretty much the only thing really to talk about this week as it's thursday um but you know come back at you guys on monday with um college football and nfl football and then obviously catching up on baseball and the Ryder cups this weekend as well um pairings were just announced for both the european team and the u.s team um so excited about that i don't know if you guys are excited about that but i am personally excited about that i hope the u.s can bring it home um for if you're um from europe or european listener um good luck but i mean i'm obviously from the u.s so i'm gonna be cheering on my guys like jordan spieth justin thomas con morikawa all those guys even though victor hovland's my favorite golfer he's on the european side so can't go from this week um But with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's episode. If you are on YouTube, watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Much appreciated. Um, Follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace, guys.